Hello family, it's another day here on our channel and we appreciate your coming back. Thank you. Today, we are cooking authentic chicken light soup with fufu. Come with us as we take you through the process. We check on our rabbits get the fowl and make it ready for the light soup. We put water on fire, make sure it's boiled and begin to take off the feathers from the chicken. Put the charcoal into the cold pot, put the wire mesh on it and put the chicken on it. Take it off the fire and wash it thoroughly. These are all the ingredients to be used for today's recipe. We have onion, salt, garlic and ginger, okra, tomato paste, natural spices, tomatoes, chicken, pepper, plantain and cassava. All our ingredients are ready for today's recipe. We add charcoal to the fire on the coal pot and put a pot containing water onto it. Wash the tomatoes, onions, pepper, turkey berry and put it into the water on fire and cover to boil. Begin to cut the chicken into the right proportions. Add water and wash it till it becomes clean. Take the boiling ingredients from the fire and put the pot containing the chicken on fire. Add salt and slice of onions. Wash and grind the garlic and ginger. Add the natural spices and continue grinding. Add slices of onions, continue grinding and put it onto the chicken on fire. Stir and cover to boil. Drain the water out from the board ingredients and begin to grind.
check and stir the chicken on fire and cover to keep boiling. Add water to the grinded board ingredients, strain into a bowl and strain it again onto the boiling meat on fire. Stir and cover to boil. Begin to grind the boiled onions separately. Add to the soup for a sumptuous flavor. Add the tomato paste there and cover to boil. Wash the okra and add to the soup. The soup begins to boil beautifully. Stir and take it off the fire. Add charcoal to the fire, put a pot on it, pour water into it and cover to boil. Put the already peeled cassava into a pot, pour water onto it, wash it and begin to peel the plantain. The water on fire begins to boil. Wash the cassava and plantain thoroughly. Put it into the hot water, cover and leave it to boil.
we sweep and keep the surrounding tidy and begin to fan the fire to allow the cassava boil quickly. We check the cassava and it's well cooked. We take it off the fire and strain the water out from it. Pour it onto the plantain leaf in the pan. Check the fire and put the soup back onto it. Open halfway and begin to wash the mortar and pestle and the pounding begins. We clean the mortar very well with cassava and begin to pound the first plantain. We finish pounding the plantain and begin with the pounding of the cassava. African foods are always the best. This is the natural way of pounding fufu for better enjoyment. Do you know any other way to pounding fufu better than this? Show us in the comment section. We now add the pounded plantain to the cassava and pound together to mix very well. This is one of the best foods in Africa, Ghana. If you haven't tried this yet, don't hesitate to do so and thank me later. We really appreciate your time and love shown to us Anytime we post a new video, God bless you. Keep loving us. We have a lot in the pipeline to show. Like, share, and leave your comments. And do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.
We serve our first batch of fufu into the earthenware bowl and begin with our next batch. Everything you are seeing now is originally made in Ghana from the mortar, pestle, cassava, plantain, etc. Ghana is a really blessed country. Let's be proud of what we have. We pound till it becomes soft enough for consumption. The second batch of fufu is now ready. We serve and oh yes, our food is now ready to be served with the soup. Isn't this amazing? We now begin to serve the soup onto the fufu. You can't afford to miss this. This is one of the most nutritious foods served in most Ghanaian homes. So yummy! Tell us where you are watching us from and we will serve you with the best.
Thank you for joining us on this one. God bless you. See you in our next video. Stay safe.